Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be continuing the talk on feng shui. Today we, be, we will be learning about two diagnostic methods. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists, so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. When learning the principles of feng shui, I like to approach the subject as if the knowledge were placed on an ever-descending spiral that moves ever deeper into the understanding of feng shui. First, we explore what qi is and the different types of qi. Then we move around the spiral of knowledge again at a deeper level and explore the concepts of yin and yang. And then we moved on to the discussion of the five elements, the three cycles, the nine stars, and your lucky stars and the fortune of your door. And now we will move into a different de de direction. And, be and we've already studied the Bagua, and now we're moving on to the do two diagnostic methods. There are two methods we will use to diagnose, diagnose the problematic conditions of your living space. The first is called the eight-point method, the second involves reading the space according to the five elements. The eight-point method shows the relation of problematic areas in your space to the various concerns of your life, such as your career, finances, relationships, and so forth, as indicated in the Bagua. The second method of reading your space according to the five elements will indicate the relationship of the problematic areas in your space to your emotions and health. First we will learn the eight-point method. The history of the eight-point method is not as old as the purely classical methods used in feng shui. This method has become popular among many practitioners. The eight-point method is used for diagnosing and treating problems and for locating meaningful areas for the placement of furniture, objects of art, and plants. Each of the eight points or areas has a name which corresponds to the Bagua. The eight points are called the career point, the knowledge point, the family point, the money point, the reputation point, the marriage point, the children point, and the friends point, which also includes communications and travel. When this eight-point template is put on the map, they appear as shown as shown. Here we find a picture of the basic template for the eight-point diagnostic method. In the picture on the right, I have put a bagua in place so that you can see the relationship of the bagua to the points. The second picture removes the bagua so that you can more easily see the eight-point diagnostic template. The bottom line with the open space on which you find the points called friends, career, and knowledge always corresponds to the wall that holds your main doorway. To locate the points or areas in your place space, first stand or imagine that you are standing in your doorway looking in. So directly in front of you is the reputation point, to your far, far right is your marriage point, to your far left is your money point, and so forth. To apply the template to your space, first superimpose it on the floor plan of your entire home, and then superimpose it on the floor plan of each room. If your space is a studio apartment, superimpose the template on the floor plan of the studio apartment alone and not on any imagined areas within it. If your home has an irregular shape to it, as indicated by this picture, just extend the lines of the, the shapes contours until you get a square or a rectangle as shown by the gray box in this diagram.
Sometimes the eight-point diagnostic method is not always easily applied. There are places that have such odd shapes that several of the points appear to be missing entirely, as shown as in this example. In a space that has two or more rooms, in which the overall shape lacks more than one point, as shown in these figures, look for the points in the separate rooms, as shown in the lower two diagrams. The overall space in the top two diagrams appears to be lacking both the money and the friends point. But if you use a two bagua layout, you can see that the money and friends point can be found in both rooms. So in a case like this, break the usually shaped space, unusually shaped space into two separate spaces. As in the previous two diagrams, I wanted to show how the bagua fits over the template first, and then to the right, I wanted to show just the eight point figures. In this picture, you can see that this space seems to be impossible to understand by the eight point method. What you do in this type of a situation is to reassign the points so that they take in as much of the space as possible as shown in these pictures. In this picture of a studio apartment, we see that it lacks one point. In a studio apartment that lacks one point as shown in the top two figures, you can create the missing point by using a screen or a self-standing bookcase or something else of this nature to divide the room as shown in the bottom figures. To read your space using the five elements template, you will need your compass and a copy of your floor plan. If you find that the shape of your overall space is irregular as shown in this picture, then fill out the missing area until you get a square or rectangle as shown in the top two figures. Once you have done that, then draw diagonal lines from corner to corner as shown in the next figures down. The place where the diagonal lines cross is your sitting point. Standing at that point, use your compass to find where north, northeast, east, and the rest of the directions lie in the space. Then mark them on your floor plan as shown in the next figures. The next step of this process is to write down the element of each of the directions as shown in the last figures. Water for north, earth for northeast and southwest, wood for east and southeast, fire for south, metal for west, and Northwest. In my next videos, we will examine the different ways that these diagnostic methods are used. I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.